Hello, Captain Hans here. Today we're going to talk about divers. Not, a, not just any diver, this is a dipsy diver. Uh, but I fish on the east end of Lake Erie. We probably use dip, dipsy divers more than most uh, because of the deeper waters that we, we, uh, we fish in. But the divers are a very big part of success out on that water, out on Lake Erie especially the east end of Lake Erie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I rig these dipsy divers, little tips and tricks and things that uh, might help you. So check it out. Alright, first thing I want to talk about is, you know, the rod and reels that I'm using. I'm just using a, a Okuma Convector, the CV30D. Um, what I want to do is I want to spool this up with 30 pound braid. Now, I am a big proponent of the big, you know, the number one thing that we need to do is make sure that the same amount of line gets on each reel that you're trying to, because this you're, you're trying to repeat a process, okay? I'm not big on calibrating. I am big on getting the same exact amount of line on each reel. So when I start off, I can be sure that there is, you know, 400 feet of backer and 1,000 feet of braid on each one of these, and it's gonna be the same. So therefore, they're spooled up the same. The, the big thing is that this number means the same thing on the other dipsy rod that's the same, okay? Uh, after that, I will use other things to figure out exactly where, uh, how far I'm down, whether that is using a, you know, a panoptics unit to look back and see how deep you really are, or a fishhawk TD or something like that. There's other ways to find out how deep your stuff is running, other than, you know, just knowing and using some kind of chart. Uh, with all the currents and the things that happen out there, there's a lot of stuff that goes into figuring out how deep you are. So if you think you're going to just read off a chart and know how deep your dipsy's going, you got another thing coming. So the big thing is, is just make sure that everything's repeatable and that go out there and mess with it. And once you get numbers that work, you stick with those numbers that work. You know, uh, I always know where my dipsies are at, but I run them every day. So I got a real good feel for it and I know where they're sitting, but that's how it starts is by making sure everything's the same. I like a real, um, a real light rod. I mean, these are, these are ugly sticks. Uh, and they're eight three lights and that's my favorite rod for my down dipsy rods okay my one settings all right which we're going to talk about but uh so i love these with the convector reels they're nothing special but they do the job and they get everything done so now we're going to move to once we got our 30 pound braid spooled onto our reel onto our rod we're going to come down to how we connect to that how we connect to that dipsy diver so what I'm going to show you here is I like using these stay lock snaps you want a nice ball bearing swivel that's going to go to your dipsy diver now what I like to do before I tie on my knot is I like to add two things and here they are all right this little fluorescent green guy is actually rubber and it's a rubber stopper that is, I mean, it's very cushy and it is basically what I use it for is to go down over my Palomar knot and keep that knot safe. And it also keeps that, it also keeps this bigger bead which is made so that I can tell people, just keep reeling until that dipsy hits the tip. All right? And when they reel, they will reel this, these beads right into the tip. I'll show you. Ah, this might not be as easy. All right? So there we have it. Here's the tip. And see how that works. We we now have everything bumped right into the front. You're not going to hurt your eyelet with this metal hitting it over and over again. And you're also protecting your knot.
from this harder bead uh, hitting it over and over again. So basically, you're ensuring the longevity of your rig, and you're also making it so it's, uh, you know, even though I need to do this for charters where people are just reeling it up, I, I do it for myself too because it's nice just not have to worry about it. So that's a good tip on keeping, uh, keeping your line good and keeping your connection to the Dipsy uh, solid. All right, so now here's your Dipsy. You want to snap the line coming from your rod with your bead set up right onto the front of your Dipsy. Now one of the reasons why this bead setup is important is that I like to use the longest leader that I can use on these these Dipsy divers. So a lot of times I'll be running a rod length, which is eight feet, all right? Which means the people, when they reel it up, they have to reel that Dipsy right up to the tip, okay? Which means it's okay, because those little stoppers are there to stop you from hurting anything. Reel it, bump it right up, and then pull back, and we get those fish, all right? So the next comes down to after we're all set up and hooked onto our hooked onto our dipsy diver there with our braking setup. Okay. Next we're gonna go on to the leader. Alright, so this year I ran a 20 pound sunline. Alright, and you know, it was fine. Uh, I've used a bunch of different uh, uh, fluorocarbons and non fluoro I mean, I used big game and had very, caught a ton of fish just using 20 pound big game. So, you know, you can use the, I, I run the fluorocarbon just because I want to be sure that I'm putting my best, for best, my, my best foot forward. Um, with that being said, I'll usually run an eight foot, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Okay. And, you know, just tie that on with whatever your favorite knot is. And then I end it with a nice little, a nice little snap swivel. Nothing big, nothing huge. You just want a little tiny, you know, something that's not too, that doesn't weigh that much. So it's not going to weigh down. It's not going to weigh down your uh, crankbait. It's not going to weigh down your spinner. It's not going to weigh down your spoon. So that's my rig. Uh, I use that to catch a lot of fish every year out on Lake Erie. Um, so I hope that you like this. I hope that it, uh, if you have any other questions, uh, leave, a, leave a comment below and uh, ask whatever you want. I'm an open book. Uh, and, um, you know, as we go here, we're going to be trying to put out a lot of more inf informational stuff. And uh, just like and subscribe and share the channel if you would. And, uh, you know, talk to you later.